Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to dive into another planner video with all of you. It came highly, highly requested. So I'm really excited to talk through my planner, do a little plan with me, and just let you know what things I'm keeping, what things I'm changing, and also some really great new planner things that I just picked up this week. If you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am so excited to have you join this channel. If you like luxury reviews, skincare and beauty product reviews, lifestyle planning, organization, this channel is for you. It literally has something for everyone. So if you like it, please click subscribe below. So I've picked up a few new products over the past week. Like all my videos, I will leave everything linked down below so you can find them. Most of the stickers that I purchased were on Etsy from different shops, and I've decided to go with a marble theme. Now, the agenda I use is a Hobonichi. If you don't know much about the Hobonichi, I do a whole deep dive video about it, and I will leave that video linked down below. But we're gonna mess with these stickers and see if they work. I'm really excited to give them a try. I found these great marble stickers from an Etsy shop. They have lots of different tags, to-do lists, and they look like they're going to be about the right size. I also picked up from Etsy these stickers from Bella Rose, and it is a great, great Etsy shop. I've actually used it before, and they're just a lot of square stickers, and once again, they look like they should fit, um, so I'm excited to play with those. I then went to Michael's and picked up new packages of stickers that I love and have already reviewed, and it's the Gold Foil Collection from the Happy Planner. This one is just a set of to-dos. This is their fitness pack. And then while I was at Michael's, I also found from the brand Recollections this set of foil stickers as well. So I'm excited to try these. They're just a lot of simple frames that you can then fill in with text. And then lastly, from Sessa V, I found these two cards. Now, the one that says top three is a place to write goals, quotes, tasks, and priorities, or contacts. And you can just pick like your top three for the week or have a place to pick those top three things. Um, I'm going to get creative with this as we begin planning. And then the last one is the Everyday Seven. And it's seven different tasks that you want to do all week long and you can mark which days you do it or not. It's kind of like a habit tracker. So I'm excited to add that into my agenda as well. With that being said, we are going to dive straight into planning. So let's get started. So it's the week of the 30th and I am so excited because you all know I creased that page in January and February is about to begin. Anyway, I keep my Hobonichi in here and I also keep a graphic image notebook, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the graphic image notebook because I do not like it in there when I'm trying to plan. So let's go ahead and remove that. One thing that I like to do is keep it really streamlined and simple. I don't like to overdo it. So I am just going to do my simple band of washi tape across the bottom and the top to kind of segment things off. And on Etsy, I found, because I was going for this marble theme this week, I found a really cool marble washi tape that I'm so excited to give a try. So it is a mix of grays and blacks, and yeah, it's just really, really beautiful. Now that the washi tape is down, I want to dive into the stickers I purchased. I don't remember which Etsy shop I got these from, but like I said, I'm gonna keep them all linked below and we're gonna see how well they fit. And there's just a mix of different tags and to-do lists, also some like simple stickers that just have some quotes. This one says, it always seems impossible until it's done. And once again, just some other things to fill in. So. Um, let's go ahead and see how these work within this agenda. They might work, they might not. So, first off, I have to tell all of you that these stickers from this shop are actually a really great width and 
for all my Hobonichi lovers out there, it is sometimes frustrating because it feels like no stickers ever fit the Hobonichi. These actually are really great sizes, even the weekend banner for the Hobonichi. So like I said, everything will be linked, but if you're looking for great stickers for your agenda, I would suggest these because I'm really, really excited about them. Now that I have finished filling in all my stickers, I'm just gonna now open up my computer, pull up my calendar, and also flip back to my monthly pages to make sure that I don't miss anything really important. So I just filled in my week and uh, it's a pretty busy week and things will fill in and move around as we go. But just to kind of talk you through, I just use this as my to-do list and really just delegated like the most important tasks from the first one that needs to be done to the last one that's the least important, like life will go on if this doesn't occur. Then I went in and filled in all of my meetings that I know take place every single week, they never change. So I went ahead and filled those in, then filled in any extra events that will be taking place, whether it's an additional phone conference that doesn't usually happen, or a different meeting that doesn't usually happen or anything like that, that's kind of like an outlier. Then I went in and filled in my personal life, things that don't change that I keep as a routine. An example of that would be every other Saturday I switch from a downstairs deep clean to an upstairs deep clean and this week is a downstairs deep clean. Then I also went in and just filled in some events that I really would like to happen. One of my resolutions for 2017 is to put myself and my family time into my daily schedule to make sure that it is sacred and that it actually happens because there's a living reminder on the pages that I look at every single day. Next, I'm going to dive into these cards. Now, for this week, there are a couple things that I definitely want to get done. So this is the week of 1.30. All right, so I filled out my seven everyday cards, and I just included things like really thinking through and planning out strong talking points for all my meetings, working out, reading every night, drinking lots of water, and um, things like that, and I'll just be able to track those. Where I'm going to keep those is just clipped to this little card um, so that it's there every day. I feel if I put it anywhere else, I'm just gonna forget about it. And for the top three card, I'm going to use it just to jot down like three things that really inspired me throughout the week or really resonated with me and just a place to record it. So I'm just gonna wash my top three card in and then I can flip it back and forth. So now that my weekly is set up for myself, I'm gonna dive into my daily pages. And if you watch my other planning video, not much has changed. I will leave it linked down below because I've kept it exactly the same because it's working really well for me as my fitness journal. So I'm gonna dive in and get that done. So I went ahead and set up my fitness journal. I would do this for the rest of the week, but I could talk you through. I've just set up Monday and Tuesday. I keep it really simple. It takes me seconds to get it completed. So what I just do is I simply stamp a BLD so I could track what I have for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then I also use this bottom section for a little how are you feeling. So I could talk about like, from my, based on my workout, based on how I'm eating, how am I feeling? And then I put my hydration stickers. I weigh in on Mondays, so I put a little sticker there just to remind myself to weigh in. And then I just add a couple little motivational stickers to fill in the space. But I like to have lots of space to jot down and write. I'm gonna end this video here. I would highly recommend if you're a Hobo Nietzsche fan, to be diving into some of these stickers that I linked down below because it's really nice to finally find some that really work for the Hobonichi. If you like this video, please click subscribe. I bring content to you every single week on a variety of topics, and I promise there is something here for everybody. Also, if you're new to this channel, there is a luxury giveaway and entry is available until February 20th. I will link the video down below that will tell you all about the giveaway and how to enter. I will leave this video like I leave every single video. Please take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Bye-bye.